This video is brought to you by WatchReviewBlog.com and WatchPod, specialty watch accessories for enthusiasts. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for video updates. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us on another Watch Review Blog episode. We had a few months hiatus due to an unforeseen office move, but we're settled now for many years to come. Today I want to show you guys a new brand that we hadn't heard of up until just a couple weeks ago. The brand is called Yama, made in France, with mostly Swiss movements but also some in-house. You can read all about their production process on their website, so I won't go into details here, but I will say I'm very impressed with the quality I'm seeing and feeling. The model we're looking at here is called the Urban Traveler. We have both the Ice Blue Dial and the Salmon Dial. I have a soft spot for salmon dials at the moment after falling in love with the AP Royal Oak Jumbo Extra Thin Salmon Dial that's been floating around on Instagram for a while now. But I just don't have the extra $200,000 at the moment. I am saving that for an espresso machine. The salmon dial on the Urban Traveler here is of an excellent hue. I really like it. It's not too pink which can be a turn off, but it has that perfect hint of peach and copper with the addition of a nice sheen. The light ice blue is also very nice, but I've personally never been a fan of this color, unless it's on something undeniably crazy like the Platinum Daytona. Although, if this is the shade of blue you're after, you'll probably love it. The Urban Traveler is hitting lots of important watch aspects here. First off, the overall design of the watch is that of an integrated Gerald Chenta vibe, but different enough to be its own thing. It has a bit of an octagonal shape, but it interestingly not on the bezel, it's on the case, which gives the watch a unique dimension. It comes off as first and foremost sporty, but it's also classy. This watch can be paired with almost any outfit I'd say, leaning more towards the casual side. The fit and finish is absolutely outstanding. This is really where this watch shines, pun intended. You know the feeling when you pick up a quality watch and feel it in your hand? That's what I noticed when I first picked up the Yamas. The weight is substantial and the polished and beveled edges lend it a smooth, silky, slinky feeling when handled and when on wrist. The bracelet and the watch case with equal amounts of care taken on the finishing. It's not as though the bracelet was an afterthought, which we see frequently on high-end watches. But you can tell that Yama has cared for every aspect of this watch. The fun doesn't stop here, and as you begin to notice the intricate details on the bezel, textured dial, and the hands and indices, the Urban Traveler really sets itself apart from most of the competition in this price range. Did I mention yet how well sized this watch is? The proportions are immaculate, which again is not easy to nail for a watch with an integrated bracelet. I could think of perhaps one or two other watches with integrated bracelets in this price range that actually fit well. One of them being the new smaller size Tizo PRX. But then again, having handled both of these, I would say the Yama feels like better quality. The one caveat here is that Yama is relatively unknown brand, when compared to the likes of Tizo and Hamilton, for example. And you know us watch enthusiasts do place some value on this. After all, resale value and collectability on a more established brand is usually better. If you thought this watch couldn't get any more interesting, hold my coffee because the Urban Traveler has an in-house movement, and it's second generation, made in France. Not Switzerland, which is really cool. I won't get too crazy with the intricate details of the movement here, just check out the Yama website that has an entire section dedicated to explaining all the planning and assembly of the Caliber Yama 2000, that comes with a 42 hour power reserve. Anyways guys, I just wanted to give you a 4K glimpse of this new beautiful model. You know what the deal is, our full hands-on review can be found on the watchreviewblog.com where we cover every aspect of the watch. Cheers!